our method allows us to visualize single molecules with a 40 times larger image area than conventional methods and has a greatly spread background signal. Unlike other techniques, our approach uses a single objective lens, does not require a special sample chamber, and it is easily compatible with commercial microscope systems. After gathering the necessary components, start building the system. Here, several elements are already in position on the bench. Mounted on an aluminum block is a microscope body with a piezo stage and sample holder. Also on the bench are three lasers and optical elements to combine the beams. The combined beams are coupled to a single-mode fiber as efficiently as possible. As a final preliminary step, assemble a collimated light source in a cage system. This has a temporary coherent light source connected to a single-mode fiber, a fiber adapter, achromatic lens, and iris. Begin work with the detection path. First place the collimated light source in the microscope body's objective port. Adjust the mirror beneath the objective so the output beam is roughly horizontal and aligned with the bench's holes. Insert a dichroic mirror in the beam path and reflect the beam by 90 degrees. Add mirrors to allow adjustment of the transmitted beam's path to an SCMOS camera. Use the mirrors to ensure the beam hits the center of the chip. Next, insert a 300 milliliter focal length tube lens about a focal length from the camera. Remove the collimated light source from the microscope body. Then adjust the position of the tube lens in order to set its focal plane. Stop the adjustments when the camera...